Just starting to get in. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm gonna go on my computer here in a second as well. So thank you all. Some of you are coming over from Instagram. That was a warm up, <laughs> as you can tell. A little, a little, uh, a little uh, rusty. I had to warm up on that one. Uh, it's. Uh, I don't know if you're experiencing this. It's probably just just me, but uh, it feels like a lot of the songs just blend, <laughs> just blending into one one gigantic song. <laughs> but. But this one's going to be great, which is good because the Instagram story will disappear after an hour or after a day. But these will live on forever. So we got this. We got this. All right. Uh, this is fun. Uh, can't take anything too seriously. Can't take yourself too seriously, which is a, definitely something I've, I've uh, struggled with. But we're going to we're loosening up a little bit here. All right. So I'm going to go live. Let me go check out my feed here. Uh, welcome. Welcome. It's good to see you all. I'm excited. Pumped on this song. All right, what's up, Earl? Earl, yeah, we got some, uh, we got some mixed, we got some mixed, uh, mixed things with this song, which is funny. Uh, some people don't know it, which is totally fine. I, I didn't know Dance Monkey. <laughs> uh, some people don't like the song. Some people love the song. So it's pretty funny. Uh, it's pretty funny how that works with with music. All right, there, there I am. Whoa, look at all this. Look at here, Kelly. What's up? You beat Pete today, Pete. What's up? Elizabeth made it. Uh, Matt Patrick, welcome, welcome. Monica, nice. Uh, Linda is here as well, sweet. Mari is here, wow, what's up, Mari? I don't think Mari's made it. Mari's uh, basically responsible for almost everything you see. All the YouTube videos, uh, all the printables, uh, all that kind of stuff, all the Instagram little videos, all that stuff. I film them, but then, Mari does the magic after that. All right, Alexandra is here, what's up? Earl's here, I said hi to Earl. Maria, what's this? Uh, what did you say yesterday was? Eight, seven, eight, nine days straight? Nice, Jennifer, all right. Good morning, fellow pluckers. <laughs> yeah, you're all doing the, you're doing the, you're putting the work in no plan. That's, that's, the, that's the key though. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the bear, that was cool seeing you. So yeah, yesterday we had the baritone uh, Q&A and yeah, everyone had access to that. And we had over uh, 35 people show up, which is great because we normally have about 20. So that was great seeing about 15, 20 extra people there. Um, plus you got to see me a little bit. I was a little loopy yesterday too. <laughs> this challenge I think is, uh, is, uh, is, is doing it. That's okay, it's so much fun. Um, and then we have tomorrow, don't forget, everyone has access to the Friday Q&A um, at 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, and that's on Zoom too. And, and I'm gonna put that link in here for you. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in here for you. It's uh, youlikethepros.com/training. Okay, that's training. Uh, and sign up for that for the free Q&A. So I like to see. We had 100 people last week. I want to see at least 125 people this week. Uh, another thing. I like to share some success with y'all because it's good. I like to hear your success. But I just think this is interesting. Remember when we started this whole thing, I said we need 7,000 new subscribers a month in order to hit my 100,000 goal uh, YouTube thing. Well, just today we're at 6,500. Can you believe that? 6,500. We were at 2,500 when we started this challenge. We had 2,500 new subscribers a month on YouTube and now we have 6,500, right? And so now, we have to get that at least 7,000, which will, it will go up because we're actually, we're moving up as long as we continue doing this, which we are. So next week, after this challenge is over, we're gonna continue being here, doing some stuff. It probably won't be as intense, um, but we're still gonna be giving, doing giveaways. I still got a lot of stuff. I have ukuleles. You would, I mean, you'd be surprised how much stuff I have to give away. And I could just literally call companies up and I could get more stuff. So 
it's not it's not a problem. I, don't, I say I say that uh, just as a reality, not not to brag, but just because uh, you know they a lot of these companies like to help you out as well and give you stuff. So there's a lot of great companies out there that are very supportive. So we'll make that happen for you. <laughs> How can I afford to give so much away? <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's what we do. That's what we do. We, we help out and we give back. So uh, I have the support of all the, the, a lot of the companies that I, I work with um, that help me. Ko Aloha uh, does it. They do crazy. They do so much for me, it's crazy. Uh, Pepe Romero does a lot for me as well. Uh, Mohana's been really great. Uh, Anya's been really great. Um, Kala, not so much really. They just, I mean, I'm, they're good to me as a dealer, but uh, I haven't got a lot from them. Uh, for that, but I mean, they're, they're good people. Uh, but yeah, all those companies, they just give me a lot. They donate a lot so I can then pass it on to you guys. So, um, all right. Well, oh, look at this. Oh, please share this. Yes. Show for sure. Mari's left a comment. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mari said, uh, and, and, and who's, who's always reminded me to give the thumbs up, thumbs up for the video and then share this channel with as many people as you can so we can uh, spread the word about the ukulele. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, cool. Yeah, I found the chord sheets, all right. Oh, thank you, thank you, yeah. Hey, my YouTube channel's been around a while. It's been around for like five years. It just, I didn't do anything really with it for the first couple of years. Um, if, you need the, uh, if you need the charts, uh, I'll just put a link. You gotta, you gotta go to the forum and do that. So here's the chord charts. If you're not a member of the forum, you have to sign up for the forum, and it's right here. There you go. Okay, so what I'd like to do here real quick, let's go ahead and play this. Let's play it once, and then we'll teach it, and I'll, I'm, my teaching is gonna be a little more solid this time because I, uh, <laughs> I had a, little, a, few, a few stumbles in the Instagram one, but I'm ready to go now. All right, so let's do this. Oh, awesome, Maria, thank you. My day is too. My day, my day and night. Uh, my day and night, because I, I have to put the kids to bed, and it's pretty, who has kids out there? It's pretty much an ordeal. <laughs> it's pretty much an ordeal. What's up, Wayne? It's a, uh, if you have little kids, it's an ordeal. It's a two or, two or three hour process of, of baths and uh, bedtime and stories, and we play ukulele, we play music each night, and then uh, cleanup, the house cleanup is a, 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 an hour, at least an hour. <laughs> I literally have to mop and vacuum and mop my downstairs every single night. <laughs> every single night. It's so funny. It's so funny. All right, cool. All right, nice. What's up, Tanya? Nice. Cordoba, 20 team. By the way, I'm playing a, uh... yeah, yeah, exactly. Wayne's, Wayne's feeding his kids. I'm playing my, the Silver Anniversary Koaloha Soprano, all koa wood. And this one is called Rocket 88. Does anybody know Rocket 88? What is that reference? Who knows, who knows a reference of Rocket 88? All right. Let, let's play the song, and then I'll, we'll talk about Rocket 88. All right, here we go, from the top. Just, just play along, do the best you can, make it up. All right, make it up. If you don't know, here's the chords. G, C, C sus four, A, D, and D sus four. Okay, pretty simple song. Here's a strum pattern. We're gonna accent those beats. We'll talk about that a little bit. Just do the best you can. Just do the best you can. All right. Wayne's still at minus four. He's gonna get it though. Here we go. Let's do it. What we'll do is I'll do the verse one time with no singing, so you can kind of follow along. And then we'll do the verse in the first chorus, and that's it. And then we'll teach it, and then we'll do the whole song later. One, two, one, two, three, and. Cross 
her shoulder I just can't seem to drink her off my mind Here we go, chorus, just G and D She's a honky-tonk woman <laughs> She give me, she give me, she give me the honky-tonk You gotta go for it on the course. I was just a he hair hesitant on that. And you can see sometimes that you'll get a little bit out of tune, out of pitch with that one. All right, so Rocket 88, actually, uh, <laughs> by the way, these are the most amazing cases. I love how, how cute and small the little soprano one is. Uh, but if you ever need, like, these are the cases that I send to people uh, when they buy a Koaloha from me. These cases are really amazing cases. If you want something really super protective, I haven't found anything better than these right here. So if you're, if you're into protection stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, what's up, Will? Will's, uh, Will's uh, I met Will at the LA Uke Fest and he got a koloha from me. And, uh, and then we've, we continued the conversation. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk about the muni, don't worry. And we're gonna go over everything. Uh, and uh, Will, uh, just so you know, uh, is, is in the front lines in the medical field uh, dealing with a lot of this uh, stuff. So we wish, we wish Will the best. We thank him for his service and we, we wish him the safety uh, during these times. So all the, all people like Will, medical staff, uh, uh, grocery store people, clerks, um, food, food people, everyone out there still uh, working for us so we can kind of have a somewhat of a maintain of a normal life during this time. Um, you know, we thank all those people because they're putting themselves out there at risk during this time. So we, we are appreciative uh, of that, Will. Thank you for that. All right, so uh, Rocket 88. Uh, I just, I actually, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Uh, I just wanna, somebody said, uh, yeah, that's what the name, I was missing one name. Okay, so, so, uh, What's up, Half Carter's checking in. Um, so back in the 50s when, when rock and roll was just getting started, there was like, they were always, they're always trying to debate what was the very first rock and roll song. Uh, what was the very first rock and roll song? So it, a lot of it has been accredited to, um, uh, well, uh, uh, one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock, five, six, seven o'clock, five, 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 Rock, da, 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 do, do, rock around the clock. Okay, that's been accredited as like the first rock and roll song. Um, my kids. Um, but one of the other songs that's in high debate about what was the first song is uh, Jackie Bernstein's and Ike Turner as well. Someone got Ike Turner. Uh, Rocket 88. Rocket 88. Um, and so if you listen to it, there's a, the, the story, the, the thing is, is that they will say that that was the first time in the history of electric guitar that distorted, like overdriven, kind of dirty sounding guitar was ever recorded. And that's at the very, very end of the song, if you listen to it, there's like a little kind of guitar solo. It's not that loud. And the guitar is kind of dirty sounding, like overdriven. Supposedly, the story is, who knows if this is true or not the amp was on the roof. Like when they were traveling, they would put all the equipment on the roof. And supposedly the amp fell off the roof and got damaged, the speaker got damaged. And it, you know when you play a speaker that's blown out, it kind of like muffles. And the idea was that that's how that's, they had to record it because that's just with that. And then that distorted kind of guitar sound became the basis of rock and roll, what led to uh, all the other stuff after that. So anyway, there's my little Rocket 88 story. It could be the first rock and roll song. It's a super cool song. Yeah, it's a super cool song. Go check it out. Rocket 88, Ike Turner and Jackie Brenston. Jackie Brenston. All right. You all know that story or you know that song? All right. What's up, Cherry? Good to see you. Yeah, Will is the man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my kids. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I got a lot of information in this. <laughs> you learn a lot when you teach the history of rock and roll. I taught it for a couple of years. It's a fun class, actually. All right, let's go over this now. 
Okay, good. Yeah, listen to it. All right, so grab, if you don't have this, you can grab this in the and thing. I think it's correct. We made a couple of corrections earlier before I posted it, so everything should be correct. Here's the key here. Grab your G chord. The key on this whole song is these two upstrokes on the and of three and the and of four. That's the really the key to this whole song. So, because really the rhythm is this. Down, down. Everyone can do this with me, right? One, two, and three, and four, and one, two. And so everybody can do that, but now it's... It's a series of left-hand mutes and palm mutes. Okay, so those are the two ways you can mute. How do you left-hand mute? Just release the pressure, right? Release the pressure, and then a palm mute is a palm mute. So it's gonna go down, down, up, muted, down, muted, and then up, mute, up. And that's that, those two up strokes. Down, let's do it really slow, like super slow, like one, two, and three, and mute, And uh, too many times I miss it. One, two, and three, and four, and all right. So I got three out of four. Uh, ever correct? That's it. So do it that slow. But again, it's this. Those two upstrokes are the key to it because that's when you go to the next chord, which is C. And that C sus four chord that we got to do is on those two upstrokes. Down, down, up. Back to G, A, D, and again on that D sus D chord, D sus four. Again, it's those two upstrokes. That's when you hit that D sus four chord. Okay. If you listen to the song, and maybe you know this song, maybe you don't. We've kind of had a little bit of mixed up. Some people know this song, uh, some people don't. But listen to it. You'll hear those accents very clearly in the song, Rolling Stones. Uh, honky tonk woman. All right, so if we do this first part of the verse, it goes two, three, and C, sus, back to C, G, A, D, sus, D. Now repeat, here's the second half. Now the second time just goes G, no A chord, D, and right back to G again. Okay, and that's it. Now, this is a very loose song. So I think if you can get those two upstrokes, if you add more mutes or take some out, that's fine. That doesn't, that's not so important with this song. Okay? It again, it's so much, I mean, how many songs have I said this? It's so much about this right hand kind of being continuous and giving you that rhythm and then mixing in the, the different kind of mute, right? That's really the key. I mean, doesn't, if I just played it straight like. Versus. Right? Sounds so much cooler, right? Sounds so much cooler just adding the mutes, but this was exactly the same, the right hand. I'll be honest with you. Uh, the best guitar players, I mean, ukulele players, doesn't matter, guitar players, it's, all, it's basically the same, right? So much of us think it's about this right here. You have to have this quick, fast left hand. The best players, I mean, this is all of my mentors, all of my teachers, all the pros, all the people I admire and stuff, right here. It's all about the right hand. If you can get a nice smooth right hand, that's that's like that's the key. This is the easy part. The hand part, right? This is this is the easy part. It's right here. It's all right here. It's all with it's all about the hand, okay? All about the hand. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What B to the sus chord? Yeah, great question. So this was asked earlier, so I know it's an issue. 
Now look at the rhythm here. Don't worry about this second part, just worry about this first part. Those upstrokes are on the and of three and the and of four, and that's where the, the sus chords come in as well. Just those two beats, the upstroke on the and of three and the upstroke on the and of four. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. And by the way, you can also do the G sus four, two. Yeah, they don't do it all the time, but you could throw it in, that's fine. So on the C chord, one, two, and three, and four, and. Again, on the and of three, and of four. And those should both be upstrokes. And then when you get to the D chord, same thing. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Right? D sus four on those two, those two and, uh, upstrokes, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is a tough one. It is a tough one, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you're right, April. It's the and of three and the and of four. Yeah, yeah exactly, you're exactly right. But I wanted to show it to you anyways. Okay, yep, the rhythm is gonna get, get ya. <laughs> the rhythm's gonna get you. But be loose with it, be loose with it. All right, uh, don't forget, this week we got a bunch of great prizes. We got a uh, ukulele, Pepper Romero, Romero's creation, pep, uh, ukulele, we got the Pepe Romero skateboard, we got uh, Kala ukulele stand, we got Kala capos, we got uh, Diodario straps, we got You Collect the Pros books. Um, yeah, so we got a bunch of, of great prizes this week. Um, and, uh, and don't worry, we got, we're gonna be continuing on next week as well with this. I'm not sure exactly what the challenge is, but, but we will be doing a challenge. Uh, It'll be a little looser. Won't be so, so quite so demanding on us. Is meaning we probably won't do a YouTube video for every single, uh, vi every single song. But we'll be live here doing it and having fun. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Getting used to that chucking, muting, chucking. Yeah. It's 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 the same. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Even the, even like like my wife says. Even the even the. The Stones play it loose. I mean, they're really loose. Listen to, if you went and listened to like live versions of the song, some of them you may not even recognize. <laughs> you may not even recognize. And the song does start off with cowbell. Ding, 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 ding. So you gotta get a cowbell app. I'm sure there's a cowbell app out there um, that you can get. All right. Yeah, I'm glad we have internet too. I'm glad that we have a UPS is open. I'm glad uh, we can still get food that they're not totally shut down. So there's a lot of, a lot of stuff to be thankful for. All right. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. They kind of, they knew what they were doing. They were, uh, if you know anything about the Stones, they were, they, were, they were around when the Beatles were around. The Beatles came out like a little bit, or at least made it bigger before, a little bit before the Stones. And the Stones originally, it's funny if you listen, watch the first first Stone stuff, like the late '50s, '60s. They were they were dressed like the Beatles, so they would have like you know the matching the suits, and they had even the Stones had like the, the kind of the 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 bowl Beatles haircut. And and who I mean, of course, you would copy the Beatles because the Beatles were huge. And uh, I think Mick was saying that when they went around and they got off like the plane or a bus somewhere and they saw everyone look like the Beatles, they were like, you know what, we gotta come up with our own look. Like, screw the Beatles look, we gotta come up with our own. And they did, and then they kind of developed the reputation of like the bad boys of, of rock, right? So you had the Beatles, they were like really kind of clean cut. You know, they were singing about, all oh, you're loving, woo, you know, they were singing like that kind of stuff, especially early on. And then the Stones were a little bit more raw, a little bit more, you know, not quite so polished, and, uh, you know, a little bit more of a bad reputation with drugs and, you know, uh, destroying hotel rooms and, and different things like that. <laughs> so are you, a, are you a Stones fan or are you a Beatles fan? Can you be both? <laughs> Which one are you? Are you a Stones or are you a, a Beatles fan? Let me know. I mean, you can, I love both personally, but you should, what's your favorite? Let's just put it that way. Are you more of a Beatles fan or are you more of a Stones fan? Let me see that. Beatles all the way, okay. Okay, good, Monica said she started watching Muscle Shoals. Yeah, it's great. It's, kind of, it's, it's a little dark in a couple areas, like not like, not bad dark, like uh, 
violent or, or anything, but just kind of like the story gets a little, the story gets a little dark uh, in a few parts, but it's real. That's what it is. It's real. All right. Both. You can't, you got to choose. You got to, some, some people are none. That's true. Some people are none. Uh, definitely the Beatles love both, but definitely towards the Beatles. More the Beatles. Okay. Yeah, the Beatles are pretty. Both, but the Stones. All right, there you go. Stones. Mainly Stones. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the early Beatles. I don't like the early rock and roll, like, the, the 50s stuff. It's okay. It's like they were just kind of copying um, Elvis, and they were copying, like, Buddy Holly and stuff. That stuff is okay. I like kind of, like, the later stuff. And there's some great songs in that, in that era, but I kind of like the later stuff um, when they started getting into a little bit more branching out musically a little bit. So a lot of Beatles, a lot of Beatles stuff. Okay. Nice. Yeah, they, they are amazing. I mean, the Beatles are fantastic. Okay. All right. So we got, I would say that the Beatles, maybe Elvis is the king. <laughs> Elvis is the king. Yeah, I would say the Beatles look like they're winning out a little bit, but uh, but we still got some stoners. Stoners, that's not the right word. The stone, the Rolling Stones things here. Yeah, they're both great. They're both great. <laughs> and I say that the same about uh, Led Zeppelin and the Who, right? It's like you either like Led Zeppelin or you like the Who. <laughs> they like people get very, uh, very. Uh, you know, fighting, them are fighting words if you like Led Zeppelin or The Who. <laughs> Beatles and Stones are kind of the same way. People won't fight over them, but, but uh, totally different style. If you, like, if you like blues and stuff more, then you're definitely more into The Stones. You know, <laughs> depends on the song. Yeah, they both have great songs. Elizabeth likes both Led Zeppelin and The Who. I've, I've liked The Who more, more recently in my life. I, I wasn't a huge fan of them. Um, that much just because uh, uh, them are fighting words. <laughs> oh, <what did> I... <laughs> That's funny. All right. Uh, all right, cool. So let's give this a shot here. We got a great song for you tomorrow, by the way. I did it last night. Um, Elaine, you're going to be challenged tomorrow because we're going to do, uh, do single notes, double stops, strumming, and a picking and picking all at once. And as soon as this is over, I gotta go and get Mari all the stuff you see in the video, the chord and the, and the tab and stuff. I gotta get that to her so she can get on it. All right. All right, cool. Grateful Dead. <laughs> Grateful Dead. Uh, tomorrow's song will be uh, originally sung by a female. So, uh, it's a it's a female song sung by written written not written actually written by f a bunch of uh, several people, but uh, yeah written by a female and a more of a a, a current ish song let's say the last uh, I'm gonna say six years maybe last six years and uh, but you'll love it it's such an amazing song great song all right and then Saturday we're gonna do um, kind of a a uniting song. Saturday is a uniting song. It's not Stand By Me. We're not going to do Stand By Me, but we're going to do a uniting, a uniting song. So it's just kind of a fun, get it all together stuff. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Did you all see my Instagram post? The, the guitar is coming next week. Guitar is coming. I'm going to offer some free, uh, free Q&A for a while on my guitar. All right, so here we go. Let's do this. We'll do the same thing. Let's do the verse one time, just so you get a feel of it, and then we'll do verse, chorus, verse, chorus. One, one, two, a one, two, a one, two, three, eh. Now the A chord. Second part of the verse. Now no A chord. Back to D. Here we go. Come on, Wayne, let's go. I met a gentle barroom queen in Memphis. 
She tried to take me upstairs for a ride She had to heave me right across her shoulder I just can't seem to drink her off my mind Here we go, let it loose She's a honky tonk woman. Give me, give me, give me the honky tonk blues. All right, next verse. I laid a divorcee in New York City. I had to put up some kind of a fight. The lady then she covered me in roses She blew my nose and then she blew my mind She's a honky tonk woman Give me, give me, give me the honky tonk blues One more time here She's a honky Uh. All right, there's your honky tonk woman. Yeah, yeah, I, my eyes it just kept going to the chat. You guys were blowing up during it. What's up, Elijah? Checked in. So Elijah posted a video in the forum of and yesterday. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, Will. So. Uh, you gotta go to the forum, Will. Here's a link to the, to, if, I think you already remember the forum. You should be, I would imagine. All right, there you can get the sheet music to all the songs right there. So how'd y'all do? Give me, a, give me a one to five, please. Rate it, one to five. Now Wayne's mad at me because he's gonna be singing this song all day. <laughs> he, didn't want, he didn't want to sing this song. He didn't even want to do this song. Now he's gonna be singing it all the time. All right, one, one, two, two point five minus four, one point three, point two, yes, two point two five. So I got you all today. I got you. You're gonna really grow then, right? You don't have to get it perfect. Don't worry about getting it perfect. Just take that little bit of growth, and it will. It, will, it happens over time. It happens over time. You don't. It doesn't just happen because you practice an hour. It takes a while before that happens. So just, just stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. All right, there's some, there's a high score. Pam, Pam's on. I knew Pam was gonna be here. Pam and I talked on Facebook. Pete, nice job, Pete. All right, yeah. Um, so anyway, this will be a fun one. Uh, have a good time with this one. Don't don't overly stress because the chords are kind of simple, uh, and just kind of get that strum pattern down. If you listen to it a couple of times, you'll get it in your head. You'll be good. So uh, tomorrow we got a great song. Uh, you remember, I'll try to get the post out about 9, 9.30, the email's out, and up on the form, you can grab everything, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah, if you can't get the mutes, that's cool. That's all right. Remember, this is a very flexible uh, contest this time. It's really more about seeing you posting stuff rather than analyzing every single thing you do, whether it's right or wrong, right? That's, it's more about just getting the videos posted and being part of the, the community and getting it up there. That's all. Okay, get it slowly. Yeah, yeah, cool. But think about how much you, how much better you all after 18 days, 18 days, uh, how much we've improved. I've improved. My voice has gotten a lot stronger. Uh, you know, even all this stuff for me is always improvement. Always ways to get better. A little bit smoother with stuff. A little bit better way to communicate. I've learned a lot doing all the videos as well. So we're all, we're all learning and, and going. So, all right. So good. Don't forget tomorrow. Q&A, 9 a.m., because that will happen before this, right? So if Q&A, I want to see everyone there. It's going to be on Zoom, youcollectopros.com uh, slash training. Most of you already signed up, so you'll get the email automatic. If you already signed up, you'll get the email uh, about that anyways. Uh, and we are going to have a great giveaway for the finger style piece that we looked at last week that we'll continue to look at tomorrow. And I'm going to make, I'm going to start off the video with kind of some simple things too. That way it, it, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't lose some people with finger style. All right, all right, we're good. Oh yeah, yeah, baritone was good. 
we do the baritone every Wednesday. So I, the last couple of ones have been free for everybody, but if you're a member, uh, they're included in the premium membership. So let me know. Uh, that would be the best option to join the membership. If that's a huge problem or anything, just let me know. We'll, we'll work something out. All right. Yes, you're welcome, Wayne. Mari is awesome. Mari is awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'd be lost without her. <laughs> I'd be lost. So anyway, thank you all. Have a great one. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Be safe out there. Uh, stay positive. Um, uh, we've got a little bit of rain here in Southern California, but hopefully uh, you guys are doing well. Besides that, we'll get through this. As I say every day, we're going to get through this. Tell my wife, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. Things are going to get better. I have a feeling. Uh, I got, There's some good news out there. Uh, I think it's going to start getting better after we get through this week. So let's stay. Let's hope so. Okay. Okay. No, the Patreon is not the same as a premium. There is, I think there's a level of Patreon, though, that is the same. But uh, just the, the premium membership would be the way. And that's over at youcollectthepros.com is where you get the premium membership. Yeah. But we are going to start doing some more Patreon only. We just... We got a lot of stuff planned, like the guitar and the Patreon stuff. It's just that we're trying to, we got to get through this challenge. 